We're here at St. Catharines City Hall to celebrate Abu Haif Kijab, who led Canada's under-19 basketball team to gold at the FIBA World Cup in July. Make no mistake about it, this is one of the most famous wins in oh. Canadian basketball history. Kijab played a prominent role this summer as Canada made history by winning gold. The St. Catharines native averaged 14 points and 10 rebounds per game in helping Canada earn a gold medal and playing his way onto the tournament all-star team. You know, winning gold medal, you know, being the first in Canadian history to do it is an extremely big deal. And, you know, just made our relationships and bonds even better, you know. Being that first group, you know, is really something special. And, you know, all the guys know that, you know, still talk to all the guys every single day. And, you know, we just, we just have fun. We feel like brothers now. Playing in Cairo at the World Championships brought Abu Haif back to Africa for the first time since he left Sudan for Canada as a child. It was an unbelievable experience. You know, Egypt so close to home. And, you know, I was really mind blown. You know, the first couple of days we were there, I couldn't really focus because it was such a surreal feeling to me being back in a place that's so similar to home. So, you know, it was just an unbelievable experience. And, you know, I'm grateful I had that experience, man, because it's just unbelievable. A winning gold, did mm -hmm. that surpass your team's expectations going into the tournament? No, we had our expectations on winning gold. You know, we were the underdog because, you know, nobody really looks at Canada as good basketball country. They more see us as hockey country. So, you know, going into the tournament, you know, we had a chip on our shoulder and we felt like we had to prove something and we did. You know, we got a big win against the U.S. that a lot of people, you know, thought we wouldn't get. And, you know, the thing about it is um, we played them last year in the gold medal final and they beat us the same way we beat them. So, you know, it was a good win. And obviously making the all-star team, that was obviously, did that surpass your expectations? Or again, did you, was that something that you knew you were capable of doing? I knew what I was capable of doing because of all the hard work I put in, you know, all the hours in the gym, you know, build my confidence up. And it's just, I, I know what I'm capable of doing and I know what I'm not. And, you know, winning the all-star thing was something I was capable of doing. After completing grade 11 at St. Francis, Hijab enrolled at a prep school in California where he was offered scholarships to several schools before settling on the University of Oregon. It was very tough at first because um, you have to really live on your own and that was something I wasn't really accustomed to. And when I got, when I got there, I had a hard time adjusting, you know, just to the lifestyle because it was so different from mine back at home. And you know, after a little while, you get used to it, you kind of break the barrier, you get a little more comfortable, and then that's when you start rolling. So your game might be affected just slightly from a mental standpoint, but after you break through that little barrier, you'll be okay. And your work ethic, I'm, I'm assuming that's something that was instilled in you from your parents. Yeah, my parents, definitely. Um, my mom, seeing her work so hard, uh, you know, to put food on the table for us, and my dad as well, you know, that just really inspired me and made me want to you know, become the best version of myself. Today's celebration was organized by the Sudan House of Niagara Region. It gave Abu a chance to reconnect with his friends from the local Sudanese community. Uh, you know, it means a lot, you know. I'm not home very often, so, you know, when I'm at home, I always try to take advantage of it, and, you know, spend as much time with my family as possible, you know, hang out with friends, you know, and, community supporting me today, you know, means a lot to me and I'm very yeah. blessed to be, have this opportunity. Key jab, steps into a three, is oh. good! And so, what's next for you uh, going forward with Team Canada and as well as your collegiate career? Um, team Canada, obviously, get a, make the senior team, hopefully go out and try to win a medal, or, and also get to the Olympics and collegiate level, you know, just want to be a winner. I want to be remembered as a winner, so just try to win as much as possible at the collegiate level, hopefully get another Pac-12 championship and make a huge NCAA run, so I'm very excited for that. It will be a short trip home for Abu Haif before he heads back to Eugene as he prepares for his upcoming season at the University of Oregon. Reporting for The Source, I'm Greg Lavelle.